Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga po, Father. Who I am now is a product of how my parents raised me. And I can honestly say that they raised me well. Not because they were perfect parents and not because I'm perfect. No, far from it. But because my parents tried their very best. They never gave up on us. And they chose the more difficult path of parenting, which is choosing the good and not the easy. Sabi nga po ng nanay ko, wala namang manual for parenting. When they were raising us up, trial and error minsan. And they learn from their mistakes. While Jesus is 100% divine since before creation, and 100% human in His incarnation in the womb of the Blessed Mother, He had to learn how to be a man. He had to learn how to earn by being a carpenter. He had to learn many things. And He learned by being with His parents and being obedient, with them, or obedient to them. The nurture that Joseph and Mary provided shaped the man He came to be. Now, if there is a manual for Catholic parents, I suppose these three things are essential because these are present in the kind of parenting Joseph and Mary depended on in raising Jesus, the Son of God. First, their human experience. You know, Joseph and Mary were also children once, and their experience with their parents and their grandparents and learning also from the history of their ancestors taught them what should be kept and what should be rejected. We all know that in the genealogy of Jesus, many of his ancestors were great sinners, but they were also exceptionally good role models, even heroic in their lineage. When we look at our ancestry, many of the wounds we have now are products of generational sin passed on from one generation to another. But we have a choice to stop the cycle of sin and suffering. And as adults, we can choose and live the good and reject the bad. Second, the law. We all know that Joseph was a devout and just man just like Mary, he is obedient to the law, and they knew in Scripture to train the young in the way they should go. Even when old, they will not swerve from it. But their fidelity to the law, they not only showed Jesus how to follow it, but how to love it. In their witnessing, the law matured to love. Growing up, Marami sa atin yung sinasabihan ng bawal. Maraming bawal. Marami ring pinapagawa sa atin na minsan din natin maintindihan. And sometimes, kahit matanda na tayo, we resent our parents for that. But to know the reason why they did that takes time. It takes obedience and maturity. But when we see them walk the talk, practice what they preach and live out the law with love you know obedience comes naturally for us and when we grow old we learn to love what they did and third faith joseph was really a man of faith he took a leap of faith when he took mary as his wife he took a leap of faith in saying yes to be the foster father of the Son of God. He took the leap of faith that through him, the prophecy of Nathan in our first reading, that God will raise up his heir after David sprung from his loins and he will make his kingdom firm, will be fulfilled. Joseph was righteous not only because of his adherence to the law, but more so because of his undeniable faith in God. He said his yes. He did his very best. And in faith, he surrendered the rest. 
This shows how strong his prayer life was. His silence in scripture indicated his intimacy with God who speaks and teaches in silence. My dear brothers and sisters, as we remember Saint Joseph, let us learn from his ways who fulfilled his vocation to being the spouse of Mary and the foster father of Jesus by learning and maturing from his human experience, by his fidelity and love of the law, and by his firm faith in God. In raising the next generation Catholics, now more than ever, we need Saint Joseph, who showed us the gentleness and at the same time the firmness of God's fatherly love. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Amen.